Hi, Vivian. I'm gonna make like a, a faux Swiss meringue buttercream. Um, I got myself a new book. I'm dying to get this book from this um, baker that I follow. And she does 80s songs all the time. So it is called Girls Just Wanna Bake Cupcakes. Just like Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. And it's by Courtney Carey. And she's all over the place. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, TikTok. So get her book and it's all about cupcakes inspired by the 80s. They're freaking amazing, okay? So the first one I'm gonna make is the White Wedding Cupcakes inspired by Billy Idol's White Wedding song, of course, 1982. So I'm gonna make the Swiss meringue buttercream now and tomorrow I will be making the cupcakes and decorating because I still need my little silver little non perios sprinkles because I only have colored sprinkles. So I really want to make it like hers. So I'll do that tomorrow, but today we're going to make the buttercream and then it'll be even that much better tomorrow to, to whip it on the cupcakes, okay? This is super easy, okay? That's that. So we got some good music in the background. <laughs> so first we're going to use carton, carton pasteurized egg whites, okay, from a carton. I will show you where the carton is. Okay, they come liquid egg whites in the carton and they are pasteurized they don't need to be cooked so they are safe to eat okay now they must be room temperature to make this cream okay so this i put in a little bowl with hot water in it like that in the bowl to get to room temperature and we're going to add according to courtney in her book two and a half cups of powdered sugar which today i'm using the vanilla flavored powdered sugar from Whipsy.co, okay, follow them. Instagram, TikTok, everywhere, Whipsy powdered sugar, amazing. They have so many flavors right now, strawberry, lemon, the vanilla, they have blueberry, which I'm gonna make shortly as well. Um, they just got the salted caramel, which I made in our previous live on, um, on Twitch, and that was super good on my chocolate sponge cake. All right, so let's begin. So we're gonna pour in the egg whites, three ounces. Okay, three ounces. Very low. I'm gonna whip it till it incorporates and it gets nice and fluffier. <laughs> How's your day going, Vivian? I am off on Monday, so I am home. Spread your bowl down. Get all that sugar in there. And wedding, wedding cakes, wedding cupcakes usually take specific flavor and that is almond so we're doing almond extract on this buttercream and it's gonna be so freaking good <laughs> thank you for the likes keep them coming <laughs> this is like maybe my third live or fourth just getting used to this <laughs> okay now we're gonna put it up a little bit to get it nice and Coffee, or I don't know what she uses at the end. So it gets thick and opaque. Thick and opaque. 
cake. And after that, we're going to add the, the almond extract. She calls for almond and vanilla. So maybe I'll do one because I want the almond to, you know, come more through. So I'm just going to use the almond. One teaspoon of the almond. The almond is very strong. <laughs> so one teaspoon should be good enough. I'm going to give it about five minutes or so. See how it's getting thicker? Nice and thick. Yeah, this sugar is really, really good, guys. If you bake or do anything with powdered sugar, I do recommend this company, Woodsy. They are a small business, and please do support small businesses. The next one I'm going to make is probably blueberry. I want to try that one. Then to this, we're going to add two sticks of butter. My butter has salt in it, so I'm not adding salt to the, um, to the, to the egg mixture. Let it mix there for a little bit. using the paddle, paddle, paddle adjustment, all throughout. Any questions guys? Bring them in.
a little bit more and we'll start putting in the butter tablespoon by tablespoon that each tablespoon incorporate nicely hi Susie yes meow to you <laughs> oh my goodness so nice to see you here thank you thank you for coming in <laughs> we're making like a full Swiss meringue buttercream pasteurized egg white not raw so we don't have to worry about eating it <laughs> how are those kitties how is flora and shadow <laughs> oh my goodness of course so it's sassy <laughs> The daytime is for sleeping. <laughs> Yesterday I cleaned up our bedroom a lot. I did some steam cleaning of the rugs and um, all her little, you know, her little knickknacks, her little blankets and everything. So she's loving it now. Doing like some spring cleaning into the summer. <laughs> Not too hot here yet. But you know how they love their things all nice and clean. So she's enjoying that today for sure. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for the likes, guys. Thank you, Susie, for liking the live. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so now it's turning a little bit lighter and lighter as we keep mixing. Uh, a Swiss meringue buttercream, but without real eggs. It's with pasteurized egg whites. For the cupcakes that I'll be making tomorrow. Or maybe tonight, who knows? I don't know, maybe I'll make it tonight on my Twitch account. Yes, yummy, yummy. <laughs> this is the sugar and three ounces of the pasteurized egg whites at room temperature. So we're just beating that together till it gets nice and opaque and thicker. And then we add the butter, two sticks of butter. And it's super easy. I'm gonna go a few more minutes. The more you beat that together, the better. The smoother the cream. And we're gonna add in some um, almond extract because we're going like for a wedding cake kind of frosting. And wedding cakes are usually with the almonds. So that's what we're going for. No, she did not like it at all. I actually had to to give it to my girlfriend, my co-worker. Her cats love it. One of her cats loves it. But she did not like that at all, unfortunately. Ugh. Like I said, she's older, you know, and she's not, she wasn't used to that. You have to get them used to it from the, when they're little like you, you know? So hopefully if I get another one soon or whatever, hopefully I can get one again and get it used to it. Get, it, get, get them used to everything that this one's not used to. <laughs> this one is such a pain in the butt. Scared of everything still. Sassy still scared of everything. <laughs> yep. Oh, it looks so pretty now. Let me show you guys. A little closer up there. That's what we want. Nice and thick. Getting thicker. Now we're going to put it on super low while we add the butter. While we add the butter in there. Tablespoon by tablespoon, guys. Okay. Thank you, thank you for the likes. Wow, look at that. We almost have a thousand likes. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm new to this live thing, so 
<laughs> I appreciate all you guys being here. Everybody dance. Nice room temperature butter, guys, okay? See, nice and soft. Nice and soft, almost, you know, but not melted, but soft, you know, soft. Actually, just break it with your fingers and put it in there. Oh no, that's fine, Susie. Please, no, 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 no. Just hit the likes. That's fine for me. I love it. I love you for that. Just keep giving me hearts. <laughs> keep liking the live. I just appreciate that you're here at all. Okay, let's wait on that too before I add the other one. I'm gonna put the almond extract in there before I forget. One teaspoon of it. Almond is very, very strong, but it's so good. Mm. So just one teaspoon of enough. Okay, let's start on the next stick of butter. Yes, 1.9 likes. Thank you. 1.9K. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that makes me so happy. So happy to see you guys here and hitting the likes. Thank you, thank you. Beating it, put it on a little medium speed now. See if I'm
It may look a little curdled if you're making this, but that's okay, it'll go away. It's part of the process. Guys, now it's cool because I can't see inside the bowl. Wow, thank you for the likes. What I'm gonna do now because I want it to be smoother. Sometimes you have to, because you know it all depends on your climate, <sighs> the temperature in your house, everything. So what I'm gonna do is take some out, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, and then pour it back in, and that's gonna make it smoother. Nice and smooth. Let me get a cup on get one of my measuring cups. It looks like a little grainy still. So we're gonna smooth that out in the microwave. See? We want it nice and smooth. I'm gonna put it in a cup. That's just a little trick I've learned along the way. Right back. do this last time too when I made this. Thing. 
one more time. I'm gonna low stir now. Kick out any air bubbles. Wow, guys, thank you for the likes. <laughs> so this will smooth it out even more. Leaving it on the stir position, very low. I'll change my gloves because they feel grainy. So. We're almost done here with this lovely buttercream. And maybe if you time, maybe this evening I'll make the cupcakes on my Twitch account. Maybe I'll stream it on here as well. I'll do live on here as well at once. <laughs> hey, Kelly. My goodness, Kelly. <laughs> uh, Swiss, like a faux meringue uh, buttercream with pasteurized egg whites, vanilla flavored. I'm doing a recipe from, hold on, a new book that I got me by Courtney Carey. Girls just want to bake cupcakes, just like girls just want to have fun, because she does 80s themed uh, cakes and cupcakes. See? And I'm making the, of course, Billy Idol's White Wedding cupcakes. So I'm going to make the cupcakes later on Twitch tonight, and I'm here as well, but I'm making now the buttercream. This is an almond flavored, wedding almond flavored buttercream. Yes! So good. Oh, now it's perfect. I had to heat it up again a little bit and put it back in because for some reason, I don't know, maybe the humidity in my house or something, it's not letting it get um, nice and smooth without doing that little extra tip. Taking some out, putting it for 10 seconds in the microwave and adding it back in and then stirring it again. And now it looks beautiful. Okay, so I think we're done. Let's take it out. Yeah, that looks pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is like the same one I made the other day with the salted caramel flavored sugar. Only this one is vanilla. And almond. Almond extract. Okay. <laughs> Nice and smooth, see? How that helped to get it nice and smooth and it was a little bit grainy before, remember? Those that were here to see it. And then once you put that little bit in the microwave, 10 seconds, put it back in and stir again. And you get nice and smooth. Look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So this is my buttercream for the cupcakes later on. I'm gonna have a little taste now. <laughs> Let's see how it is. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I taste a little hint of almond. Mm. The vanilla. Oh my god, perfect. And I had to put a little more almond because I guess it depends on the brand you buy as well, you know? How um I have the Watkins pure almond extract, but it wasn't that strong, so I had to put two teaspoons and a little bit more. Mm. And this is good now. Yep. Very good. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. Kelly, I was on this morning making like a breakfast sandwich, but I know you're probably at work. Look at that, guys. Look how glossy that is. And it wasn't even made with um, raw egg whites. You really don't need to make the raw egg white. This one, you're safe. Pasteurized egg whites, it's safe to eat. Nobody will get sick. And it still comes out nice and glossy. You just can't do the meringue toasting. You just can't toast it because it's not raw egg whites. That's the only difference. So if you want to toast your meringue on top of a lemon meringue pie or whatever, if you want to toast it with the torch, then you definitely need to use raw egg whites, okay? But you gotta watch the temperature, cook it right, and eat it safely. Okay, guys? Yes, I know. 
I figured you were at work. Oh my goodness, you can pin now, yes. Yeah, probably took a little bit. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, Kelly, I'm so happy. All right, well, I'll be on tonight again. Susie, I'll be on tonight here. And I'll do Twitch as well. And, um, and that's it. I'll see you guys later.